Good morning, everybody. Mark Fine in here in the Home Weather Office on this Thursday morning. It's the 28th day of December 2023. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying this week. This is the morning briefing, and as I look out the window of the Home Weather Office, it's cloudy, but it's kind of a thin overcast out there. It looks pretty similar throughout the area. There is a little bit of fog in the valley. There's still a lot of moisture left around from the rain we had yesterday. Most valley spots picked up around a quarter to a third of an inch. Some foothill spots did a little bit better, especially along Highway 20. Marysville, Penn Valley, Lake Wildwood, Grass Valley were up in that three quarters of an inch uh, range. And snow, it just never really happened. We did see some slushy snow above 7,000 feet, but... Yeah, it just kind of continues our theme of not really having any good snow so far this winter. But we are eyeing another weather system coming our way, so let me show you what we're looking at this morning. Here we are in California with some clouds spilling our way. The weather system from yesterday really came in and just kind of, it fell apart. So it's not really like there's the remnants of it heading off toward Nevada and Utah. The boundary just kind of fell apart. And then you can clearly see this next line out in here. A low wrapping up out here with this uh, boundary in here. Looks, looks very nice. Let me show you how that looks from the depiction of the precipitable water. Always love looking at this because it, it really is a good illustration of not only where the water is, where the boundaries are, but also um, just how effective these will be or ineffective they might be for bringing rain to California. So on the satellite, I showed you that band of water and the, the low is right in here. You can see the flow drops down like this and then comes up here. So here's that moisture. So watch what happens to that as it approaches California. A lot of it goes more south to north as opposed to coming directly into California that we'd like to see if you want productive rain. And by the time that boundary really does come inland on Friday night and Saturday, it's really a shadow of its former self. I mean, look at how weak this is compared to the way it looks right now. I mean, if we had this overhead, we'd be looking at some really nice rain, but unfortunately, as the boundary comes inland, it kind of falls apart. As we get into the day Saturday, uh, we dry out in the afternoon. We still might see some showers, maybe some thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. And then on Sunday, yeah, there's a weak wave going by to the south, but as you can see, there's not a lot of water with it. And then the next boundary starts to develop. We'll be looking at something maybe coming our way next Tuesday, Tuesday night. But as you can see, once again, there's not a lot of water there. So that's why even when we do get some rain in the forecast, it's nothing that's really all that productive. I mean, here's a nice area of precipitable water going into the Pacific Northwest. This is next Thursday, so a week from today. But yeah, any, nothing really coming at California that's all that productive, and that's a theme that we've seen quite often. All right, let's get into a little bit more detail about the rain we are going to see during the day on Friday and into this day Saturday. I'll pick it up uh, tonight at uh, or this afternoon around 4 o'clock. There may be some showers up north uh, today, north of Mendocino County, very, very light. And then we get into the day Friday. This is Friday afternoon at 4. This model is a little bit slower than the other models by a couple of hours. This is uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Rain in the Bay Area, certainly. Uh, rain toward Monterey and up toward Redding. And rain then just creeping into the valley, but dry in the foothills. That's 7 o'clock on Friday afternoon. And we get into Friday night. This is late Friday night, really in the overnight hours. Good rain. Starting to get some snow. So this is one of those cases where we'll likely start off with rain in the Sierra, and then it'll turn colder pretty quickly. And we'll likely see snow down to, oh, 6,500, 6,000 feet. And so Saturday morning, this is Saturday morning at 4 a.m. Let me go ahead one more frame. This is 7 a.m. So if you're planning on traveling over the Sierra on Saturday morning, this is the time we'll likely have chain controls on 80 and 50 and 88. Uh, no, we're not expecting a lot of snow. It may only be three to six inches of snow, but that'll be enough that there's chain controls. And, but keep in mind that traveling today in the Sierra, not a problem, all day Friday. And even Saturday night, I think all this will get cleared up. And Sunday will also be a good travel day in the Sierra. So it really is a relatively narrow window, mostly of Saturday morning and afternoon when we'll have some snow in the mountains. Saturday afternoon, things begin to dry out, especially in the valley. 
but with some really cold air aloft, I wouldn't rule out the chance of a couple of thunderstorms in the valley. The temperatures aloft are going to get quite cold, and by aloft, I mean up around 18,000 feet. We're talking about temperatures around minus 25 to minus 28 degrees C. Cold air aloft means instability for us, at least in Northern California. So we have the moisture, we have the cold air, we might have a thunderstorm pop up, especially if we break out in any sunshine around the middle part of the day. And then as we head into the day on Sunday, the models kind of go back and forth on a weak little system dropping down to our south. Ah, I'm not all that convinced we're gonna see anything out of that. I'm gonna show you the same thing with the GFS. Of course, this will go farther out in time. Very similar with the rain coming in on Saturday, I should say Friday afternoon and evening really. Similar in terms of the snow Saturday morning. This is Saturday morning. We wake up to rain, especially in the foothills. The rain will become more hit and miss for the rest of the day Saturday. So Saturday is not an all day rain for the valley. It may be for places along Highway 49, but the rain really becomes hit and miss in the afternoon. This model also takes that system on Sunday farther south and then brings in a weak chance of a couple of showers on Tuesday night and into Wednesday. But really nothing that's going to bring us significant amounts of snow in the Sierra. And for the valley, um, this rain that we're going to see Friday night, Saturday, we're talking about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain for the foothills, maybe a half an inch to an inch of rain. So to be a little bit more productive than what we saw last night. Uh, but in terms of snow, while we will have chain controls likely in the CR for a while on Saturday, again, we're talking about inches of snow instead of feet of snow, which is good for travel. And again, there is going to be that window where I'll have the chain controls. But, um, uh, but you know, in terms of our snowpack, which is now under 30% of average and down at 6,000 feet, there isn't even any snow on the ground really. Um, so yeah, we need we need to have much more productive systems and has heading into the first and even second week of January, I just don't see any of that coming our way, which is getting pretty sad right now. All right, that's everything I've got for you this morning. It's Thursday, that means there will be a Facebook chat tonight at eight o'clock. And of course I'll be on TV tonight at four, five, six, seven, 10, and 11. Make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.